Hello again. It's been quite a while since the last video. Not really much has happened at this winter, but um, I have had quite a lot of work to do and uh, we just decided to sell our house and things like that. S small things, yeah. In this video, I think I'll go through the plans for the CNC router. That's one essential part of this project. I try to design the boat as far as possible with computer and uh, make the parts with CNC router. And well, if you're going to do it with CNC router, you should have one, I guess. But yeah, let's go then take a look at the machine. Here we can see the basic design. The starting point was a uh, design from CNC router parts, but uh, this design has evolved quite a bit from there. And I've been discussing with some experts as well. Uh, the whole thing builds around the sheet of plywood, which in European or Finnish standard is the biggest plywood is three meters by one and a half meters. I try to make this as big as possible for cutting this size of material. Uh, but the second thing that uh, defines the, the design is the length of these bars. So the standard length is three meters. So I have to have a small amount of extra on, in the ends, so the real cutting length will be just slightly below three meters. Uh, the CNC router parts design is built on aluminum frame, and uh, my first design was aluminum as well, but uh, it's quite expensive, the aluminum tube. It's easy to build, but it's expensive, so I'm now doing this from steel instead. Uh, it also helps that my one of my relatives, my aunt, sorry, it was cat. Uh, my relative, uh, my uncle, is uh, working in in machine shop, so they have quite big tools to make things, and uh, most of these parts especially the aluminium parts, are going to be made there. So, if I just choose the frame here, this is going to be a steel frame from standard steel tubes, and these aluminium parts here are the stoppers. And uh, this can be welded together, and uh, after that, we transfer this frame uh, to the machine shop and uh, they will uh, cut the top sides of these beams flat. So it's very uh, I don't know the words, you English guys. Ah, whatever. It's going to be a very smooth finish there. There's going to be flat surface for mounting these frames and uh, this uh, rack and also the linear bearing. Uh, if we go to see the y-axis, uh, this is quite a big machine, so there is racks on both sides and two motors running them, so there we can uh, avoid the move, uh, uneven movements between these two rails. I changed the design uh, and moved these rails at top here. It uh, helped to avoid the length of the uh, vertical beams here. So now basically this aluminum tube just sits at top of these bearings. So there is not as much uh, height, height there. So makes it more stiff, I think. There's really nothing special in this construction. There's just uh, 
aluminum plates and the aluminum tube that goes right here. And now we have the X axis. So here we have uh, two linear rails and uh, the movement is handled by the screw here. So there's just one motor in this end <coughs> to move the X axis around and it's going to be quite good. And uh, then the last one is the Z axis. There is two linear rails as well and uh, a screw there and the motor is the top of here. And of course the router itself, an attachment. So the next thing I'm going to do with this is to make more accurate drawings out of these steel tubes and uh, Actually, this one, this frame is not a tube, it's a L-shaped steel profile like this. And uh, I can buy these cut ready into the length. So I just make plans for these and drawings for some shop and they can cut them for, for me. And then it's just a matter of welding these. Uh, I need a place that has a flat floor so that the, because uh, there's a possibility that it goes goes like a propeller so I have to avoid that but otherwise uh, it's quite simple construction this thing and uh, I think I'm going to do these legs as bolted here not welded because it's much easier to move around okay I have had uh, quite a few new subscribers lately, thanks you guys, and uh, I hope this project continues as I planned, we are, we are already late from the schedule quite a bit, but uh, well, there is uh, quite a lot of things happening right now. So the big question that rose in those comments I was the material of the hull, so I've been thinking this quite a lot and I am think I'm coming to conclusion that I do it with the or original plan with wood epoxy construction. Uh, the steel is heavy and I'm not that familiar with it. Aluminum is I think the best solution but it's more expensive and I don't have even that much experience with aluminum, so so I think I'm going to do it with wood. And uh, wood is light and wood is strong and uh, there is a plenty of boats built this way around there, so I don't think that's very risky. You just have to be careful with that. But I think that it was for this video. I try to make another one soon and uh, Let's see if I can get this CNC router under construction soon or maybe that another sailboat, that dinghy. We'll see about that. But until next time, remember to leave a like and uh, subscribe the channel if you already haven't and uh, see you next time. Bye.